My name is David Davids, and um, I live in United States, New Jersey. I purchased um, Adele tickets. As you know, this is her first concert uh, in a while. And as a loyal Adele fan, I purchased tickets, uh, two tickets last October. Subsequent to that, I was unable to go. And I realized this in 2022 March that I'm unable to attend the 2nd of July uh, concert. And so I went to Via Gogo. Uh, resold my tickets, and I still have not received my money. According to Viagogo, the guest hasn't received um, uh, the tickets, and they cannot refund me. I got in contact with the guest, and they received the tickets. So Viagogo, um, I ask of you, please, and I plead, give me my 700 pounds, give me what is due, and stop misleading consumers just to gain their money. I hope you don't do this to anybody else because your brand will be damaged. I was planning last year to go and see her concert, uh, which took place on the 2nd of July of 2022, which was this year, last month. And um, I purchased tickets in October, two tickets to go, thinking that I was able to go um, you know, closer to the date. Unfortunately, some things came up. I wasn't able to attend it. So in March, when things changed, I said, you know what? I should probably resell these tickets or give it back to Viagogo so they could give it to another fan or supporter as interested as myself, you know, because I'm sure somebody would appreciate those tickets. And at the price I got them for, there wasn't any left at that price. So I contacted Viagogo and I said, you know what? I'm unable to attend. And they said, well, Let's see what we can do. Go back into your profile and amend um, your purchase and try and resell it or just get a refund. So I resold it. Um, and uh, what happened subsequent to that was the same day, strangely enough, they gave me an update to say that somebody's just bought the tickets and I found it weird, right? How do I just upload the tickets and then they sold the same day? Um, then I got a reminder that I need to give the tickets to the buyer. And um, I said, but I don't have the tickets. How do I give the tickets to the buyer if you haven't sent me the tickets? So you took my money. Um, you haven't sent me no tickets. We're now in March. I get an email to say, if you don't send the tickets at such and such a time, you will be liable. We will bail you. Um, et cetera, et cetera. So what happened was the uh, name of the buyer was Rachel, right? They gave me the full name, the phone number, and the email address of who to get in contact with. Again, I called via Gogo. And mind you, I called them probably 30 times. I have approximately 30 emails going back and forth. One, the first struggle was getting the tickets, and struggling to say, I don't have the tickets. You giving me a cutoff date to transfer tickets that I don't have. I send Rachel an email. I say that I know the concert is coming up. I don't have the tickets yet. So as soon as I get them, I'll transfer it to you. Eventually, I get feedback from Viagogo. No, I need to download AXS app. Now, mind you, this is after multiple conversations going back and forth, back and forth. I'm told I need to wait eight days after the concert to get my money back. I say, okay, let me be patient. So on around the 21st, I think, eventually the tickets come in an AXS app, an app that I've never used. Why is it not coming by the Viagogo app? That's where I bought the tickets. So I follow the instructions of the person in the call center, download the app. Oh, I need to take screenshots. I need to send screenshots. I need to send more screenshots. I've done all of that in all my emails. And um, on the 21st, the tickets are loaded on the AXS app. I transfer the tickets to Rachel because I've been chatting to her. This is a UK number and I'm chatting to her via iMessage, right? And I say, Rachel, you need to download this app. This is the instruction I received. And she said, okay, I downloaded the app and she confirmed it just received the tickets and she accepted. I'm like, good. Now I just wait for my money, right? I don't need to get in contact with her anymore. The concert come and the concert went and I'm following up and I'm following up. And I started getting emails to say that, unfortunately, we will not refund you because we need to find replacement tickets for the buyer. 
and now I'm getting worried. I call Viagogo and I'm like, but I transferred the tickets. You have all my email communication explaining one, the difficulty of not having received the tickets, but receiving emails from you to say, you have a cutoff date if you don't transfer the ticket. So you communicating all your conditions to me, but you don't even have a ticket date, right? So eventually the ticket date came. Now we're struggling with how do I receive the ticket date? They couldn't explain that to me either. It was just very disappointing, disheartening. I felt like this company took my money and took me for a long ride. So here I am scrambling to get my 700 pounds back in my account then I said, okay, I need to upload my bank account information or my credit card information. This is what I was told. I did that. Now uh, the concert is done and I'm still struggling to get my refund. Every time I get the same email, they ask me to send screenshots. When I call in, we've escalated. It's been escalated more than 10 times. Not once have I received a call from Viagogo to say, sir, we're sorry this happened. Sir, we're trying to resolve it. It's all over email. And I feel like the people who's answering the calls within the call center are all the same people using different aliases. That's just my personal opinion. Every time I get a response, we're looking into it. It's been escalated. We can't give you a refund because we can't find replacement tickets for the buyer. The buyer never receives the tickets. I said, but I screenshotted all the information from you, myself, and the buyer. She confirmed she has the tickets. So what are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? So now we're going back and forth, back and forth. Eventually, last week, I just, you know, I reshared all the screenshots, all the email communication from October with every reference number through now. And again, I received an email, I think it was on Monday excuse me, to say that as per the policy, if we can't find replacement tickets for the buyer, you are liable. So you won't get any refund. I sent the buyer the tickets. She confirmed. This is the information they gave me. I don't know who Rachel is. So I'm really stuck in a rut. I'm disappointed. I I, I feel like I've been robbed of my money. Even if they can't give me the tickets money that I sold to them, give me the money I paid for the tickets. Cause that is still my money. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so yeah, that's my, that's my story. I hope this video will help, you know, to get my refund or at least my, my sale of my tickets because somewhere along the line, they are dragging me and causing a situation to say that I'm confused to leer me out of my money. And in fact, that is a way of companies robbing consumers. I don't think I'm the only one that's sitting in this position right now.